Hi, this is John from the Garmin Marine Team, and today we want to show you some of the steps of installing an Echo Series Fish Finder. With any sonar device, it is critical to get the equipment installed correctly so it functions at its best. You'll be amazed at the picture quality and clarity of an Echo Series Fish Finder when it's installed and working properly. If it's not installed properly, well, no one's going to be happy with the results. Now, of course, if you want assistance with installing a Garmin Echo Series Fish Finder, Check out our website under Dealer Locator to find a certified installer in your area. If you want to tackle the installation yourself, this video should help make the most of your installation. Okay, first things first, let's talk about mounting the display. Pick a spot to mount your Echo display that is sturdy enough to support the device and gives you good access and visibility. Couple of options here. All the Echo Series units come with a tilt swivel bracket that can be mounted to the boat and then adjusted for the best view. The Echo 200, 500C, and 550C even include this quick release bracket that makes installation and removal, well, a snap. Find the best location on your boat to mount the bracket and plan out your runs for the power and transducer cables. If you want to protect and conceal the Echo Series cables a little bit, consider running them up through the mounting base. Here's what you do. Take off the swivel base and place it in your preferred mounting location. Note the orientation of the three slots for running your wires. Now, mark the center of the mounting base plus the location for your mounting screws. Drill out the appropriate sized holes for your fasteners, and then drill a 5 8 hole in the center to run your wire. For a more custom look, Garmin offers a flush mount kit for all models that allows you to securely fasten the Echo Series to the dashboard. First, Make sure you have good access for wires and mounting hardware behind your dash. Use the template that is included in the flush mount kit to mark and drill the appropriate sized hole in the dashboard for your Echo display. Now, mark and drill the four holes for the mounting bolts. Give everything a test to make sure it all fits, and then you can secure the unit to the dash with the included mounting studs. Okay, now that the unit is mounted, let's focus on the cables and connectors. First up, the transducer. One of the nice features of the Echo Series is the transducer that is included with the unit. It can either be mounted on the transom or the trolling motor without having to purchase any additional fittings or adapters. Attach the mount to the transducer body using the included hardware and then decide where you're going to mount the transducer. As always, the transducer needs to be located where it will be completely immersed in smooth water to give you the best performance. If you're mounting the transducer to the transom, make sure there are no strakes or struts or obstructions ahead of the transducer that can cause turbulence. Once you've chosen the best location for the transducer, mark and drill the mounting holes for the transducer. Now, install the transducer to the transom, making sure it is parallel with the waterline and extends just slightly below the bottom of the transom. You'll want to mark and drill several additional holes in the transom so you can run the transducer cable up the transom and into the boat. First, pick an appropriate spot above the waterline and drill a 5 8 of an inch pass-through hole for the transducer cable. Now drill a few smaller holes for these cable clamps and securely attach the transducer cable to the transom. Run your transducer cable into the pass-through hole and to the echo display. Make sure to install this cover over the hole and then seal everything with marine grade sealant to ward off any leaks. If you decide to mount your transducer to your trolling motor, simply feed the large cable tie through the slot on the transducer and securely fasten the transducer to the bottom of the trolling motor. Make sure you align this gasket between the transducer mount and the trolling motor to help hold everything securely. Now run the cable up the trolling motor shaft and to the Echo Series display using the included cable ties. Next, route the power wire from an appropriate power supply or a fuse block to the Echo Series display. Connect the red wire to the positive power feed and the black wire to an appropriate ground. If you would like to see your speed through the water, Garmin offers this optional paddle wheel speed sensor for the Echo 200, 300C, 500C, and 550C. Your boat's movement through the water causes this paddle wheel to turn which is converted into boat speed and displayed on your echo screen here. Make sure to mount the speed sensor to the transom where it will be immersed in clean water flow, just like the depth transducer. 
route the cable up the transom and through the boat to the display. Now, you'll run your wires from under the dash through the center hole, through the three pre-drilled slots in the bracket, and leave about six inches of slack. Temporarily mount the unit in place and make sure you have enough slack to tilt and rotate the unit to suit your needs. Once you're sure you have enough slack, seal all the holes with the appropriate marine grade sealant and secure the mount to the dash. Now, swing the locking arm up and place the unit or the quick release bracket into the mount. Now that we have our unit mounted and all of our cables run, all we have to do is make our final connections. With the Echo 100, 150, and 300C, compare the small divot on the cable connector to the keying on the device to identify the correct port. Push the cable connector into the correct port until it is fully seated. With the Echo 200, 500C, and 550C, the connectors on the cables are key to fit into the correct port in the cradle. Compare the small divot on the cable to the keying on the cradle to identify the correct port. Push the cable connector into the correct port until it is fully seated. Now, place the locking bracket over the cables and slide it down to lock the cables into the cradle. You'll hear an audible click when the locking bracket is installed correctly. Now you can clip your Echo Series display into the cradle without having to plug in any cables. Well, that's it for the installation. Your Echo Series unit should now be powered up and running and been giving you a great new view of what's underneath the boat. With its HD ID technology and incredibly sensitive receiver, your Echo Series Fish Finder will provide the clearest possible image of your favorite fishing hole and give you more detail than ever about the structure and bottom features that you're looking for. If you have any more questions about installing your Echo Series Fish Finder, go to garmin.com forward slash marine or ask any one of our authorized installing dealers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the water.